I'm Vince Rose, my wife Cherie started the first crocodile sanctuary in the country of Belize uh, back in 2006. Um, we've been rescuing problematic and nuisance crocs throughout the country of Belize since then. The biggest problem in this country that we're facing is the feeding. So a lot of their waste in someone's home goes right down into a little creek <clears throat> and then into the waterways and then they wind up underneath their homes or in their backyards and they've lost their fear of humans makes them incredibly dangerous. It's not a very large country so there's not a lot of area to go release problematic or nuisance crocodiles. Where do you put them? Uh, you can't put them in a river, put them in the ocean, you can't put them on these islands where there's um, people. One way to save them, of course, is to build sanctuaries and, and pens like this and use it for education to bring the school kids, to bring the whole country and educate them on the importance of, this, of these two species of crocodiles. The majority uh, of the crocs that we have here at this facility have all been rescued crocs from either people's homes or inhumane conditions or illegal conditions. So all these crocs when we went and got them, near death, but they were all severely underweight, underfed, starving. I'm glad we were able to do this and make this for them and they've grown uh, in the first six months they just exploded. They just grew and they got big and because they needed that freedom and they needed the food. Um, but these guys cannot be re put back into the wild. Uh, we don't uh, really have any more room yet there's still another 30 crocodiles out there right now today that will probably be killed in the next one to two years if we don't get to them in the next couple of years.